Hello, everyone. Welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of Witty Workshop, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of physics. So today, we're going to be looking at some questions of physics and how to solve them effectively. Let's start off with our first question. The magnetic field at a point due to a current carrying conductor is directly proportional to resistance, thickness, current flowing, or distance from the conductor. So which of these is the correct option? Now this quantity here, the magnetic field at a point due to a current carrying conductor, is expressed by the Biot-Savart law. And this law states that B, which is magnetic field, equals mu naught by 4 pi, <coughs> which is the constant for permeability, times I, which is current, times DL, that's the change in, change in distance, I mean change in length, times R, divided by R squared. So this is the formula for the Biot-Savart law. Now, if you look at the formula for the law, you can see that B is directly proportional to I. And I here represents the current flowing through the conductor. So therefore, option C is the correct option. Resistance and thickness of the conductor are not mentioned here. Distance from the conductor is R. And uh, B here, which is the magnetic field, is proportional to R upon R cube, which basically means that the magnetic field is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the conductor. However, we're asking for a quantity that's directly proportional, so therefore D is incorrect. The only correct option is C, current flowing through the conductor. Now let's look at another question. A metallic sphere is placed in a uniform electric field. The line of force that follows the path shown in the figure is. Is it 1, 2, 3, or 4? So which of these would be correct? For that, we need to understand what kind of field we're dealing with. Here we're dealing with a uniform electric field. So in a uniform electric field, if a, a, any object is placed in a uniform electric field, positive and negative charges separate. So when you have an electric field, it goes from negative to positive. <clears throat> so therefore, all the positives Actually, it goes the other way around. So it goes from positive to negative. All right. So if we were to erase these signs and then start over again. We will see that the negative charge accumulates on the left hand side and the positive charge accumulates on the right hand side. So therefore, the electric field for, flows from positive to negative. So therefore, the positive and ne negative charges separate. Now, electric in an electric field, the object has no field passing through it. So that means the electric field lines would not pass through the object. So therefore, 1 and 3 are incorrect because they show that the field is passing through it. And since there are no field lines passing through it, therefore the field lines stop at the start of the object and then continue from the other side. Now another important thing about electric field is that field lines are perpendicular to the surface of the object. If you look at number two, you can see that it's going around the um, object and it's being parallel. So therefore, two is incorrect because according to the because in an electric field, the field lines are perpendicular to the surface. So therefore, option four is the correct answer. As you can see, the field lines curving in such a way that it's perpendicular to the surface of the sphere at that point, and then when it comes out, it's still perpendicular. So therefore, option four, option D, 
the fourth line is the correct option. Now let's look at the final question of this episode. Electron and a hydrogen atom first jumps from third excited state to the second excited state and then from the second excited to the first excited state. The ratio of the wavelength lambda 1 is to lambda 2 emitted in the two cases is. So third excited to second excited is represented as lambda 1, second excited to first excited is represented as lambda 2. So how do we compare wavelength? For that we use the formula for wave number. So wave number is 1 by lambda, that is equal to the Rydberg constant times in bracket you have 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 squared. Now from the third excited to the second excited state, we have n1 equals 3 and n2 equals 2. So therefore 1 over lambda 1, it, it's equal to r it's equal to the Rydberg constant times 1 by n1 square is 1 by 3 square, that's 1 by 9, minus 1 by n2 square, that's 1 by 2 square, which is 1 by 4. So the LCM is 36, you have 4 minus 9 over 36, so therefore we have minus 5, or infinity, over 36. Now that means, if we were to take the <coughs> multiply, if we were to take the reciprocal of the quantity given, that's lambda one, it'll be equal to minus thirty six over five times the Rydberg constant. Now, from the second excited to the first excited state, we have n one equals two and n two equals one. So therefore, 1 over lambda 2 equals the Rydberg constant times 1 by 4 minus 1, which is equal to the Rydberg constant times 1 minus 4 over 4. So therefore, we get minus 3 Rydberg constant over 4. So therefore, lambda 2 will be equal to minus 4 over 3 times the Rydberg constant. So now when we choose lambda 1 over lambda 2, when we're dividing that, we will get minus 36 divided by 5 times the Rydberg constant, and then we multiply that with the reciprocal of lambda 2, so we will get minus 3 times Rydberg constant over 4, so 4 goes into 36 9 times, 9 minus time times minus 3 gives you 27. The Rydberg constant also gets cancelled, so therefore the ratio of lambda 1 over lambda 2 is 27 over 5. So 27 over 5, option C is the correct option. All the other options are incorrect because either the numerator or the denominator or both of the values are incorrect. So therefore, option C, 27 over 5, is the correct answer. Now that concludes this episode of Witty Workshop. We hope you found it interesting. For learning about more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Agile Rank Mate. If you like the video, you can always like it and share it to, with your friends. You can also hit the notifications icon for getting more updates about our latest content. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.